Are You Missing Me is a, um, a song that I heard many years ago by legendary bluegrass brother duo uh, Jim and Jesse. So I think it turned out wonderful. It, it was uh, my all-time favorite Jim and Jesse song and uh, I wanted to um, kind of include uh, a song by some of my favorite artists on this uh, new record, The Legacy Continues, and uh, very glad that I, I included uh, Are You Missing Me. Rank Stranger is one of the most requested songs that we get at our live concerts now all over the country. I knew that I had to include my Papa Ralph on this project, so I went back and uh, dug in the old Stanley Brother catalog and found Rank Stranger, and I was so honored that my Papa was uh, a part of this project and he laid his beautiful voice on this song with me. He did a wonderful job and I believe that the uh, fans will really enjoy Rank Strangers. Meet Me by the Moonlight was an old Stanley Brothers song that I heard on one of the old recordings my papa would play around the house. I've always loved the song. It has a good story and it's a good uh, time into it and kind of um, a scary, a scary song that hadn't been heard in a, in a long time before I re-recorded it. No other artists have uh, recorded it to my knowledge. And so I thought that it would be a, a really good song for this project, The Legacy Continues, because I am paying tribute here to my grandfather, Dr. Ralph, and that was one of my favorite songs uh, that he recorded. And so I decided to add it on the project. It turned out real nice, I think. Nobody's Love Is Like Mine is a song that I had to include on this project because we get so many requests for it everywhere we go. We open up our concerts with it uh, everywhere around the country and it's an up-tempo song. Uh, I think um, my papa had recorded this uh, many years ago and most fans now have forgotten about the song. Some still remember it, but we added our own little uh, special touch to it and I think it turned out real nice and I hope the folks will enjoy Nobody's Love Is Like Mine. Will You Miss Me When I'm Gone was an, originally an old Carter family song that the Stanley Brothers recorded many years ago and it's always been one of my favorites and while we were putting together the uh, song list for The Legacy Continues I wanted to include it and I also had the big bright idea to ask country superstar Brad Paisley if he would come in and sing the verses on this song and uh, so graciously he did. He agreed to do this and took time out of his busy schedule. Did a wonderful job. Of course, uh, we didn't get to record it together. I recorded my part in Big Stone Gap, Virginia and then Brad recorded his vocals at his home studio in Nashville. But the outcome of it was just so wonderful. Brad put his own special touch to it and made it, I, I, I personally think Brad took it to a whole nother level. Papa, I Love You is probably my favorite song on this whole project because it's the most personal song and it's always been one of my favorites. And while we were putting together the uh, song list for The Legacy Continues, I wanted to include it. Our bass player, Randall Hibbets, and I co-wrote this song together. And I wanted to show the folks how much I love my Papa because he has been the only father figure in my life. I never do my real father. And uh, so he stepped in when he didn't have to and, and uh, was just that, my father. And of course I've lived with him all my life and so I wanted to pay my respect and, and show the, the fans and, and the music industry how much I love him. And folks who have watched me grow up on the stage with my papa really uh, understands this song very much because they have seen me grow up with him and they know exactly what the song is talking about. And also folks who have, have or who has had a special relationship with their grandparents. It touches home with them too. So I'm very proud of Papa, I Love You. Let Me Rest at the End of My Journey is an up-tempo song. And you know, while you're recording a project, you have to uh, have a good mixture of slow songs and up-tempo songs. So we picked out Let Me Rest at the End of My Journey. Of course, that was a Bill Monroe number. And uh, of course, Bill Monroe was the father of bluegrass music and was a, a very important uh, figure and American music and was really good friends with my Papa Ralph. And so I wanted to uh, honor him on this project as well. So we uh, recorded Let Me Rest at the End of My Journey and I, I think we did it justice. The, the whole uh, band and background singers done a wonderful job and they worked their hardest to uh, make it sound right. I first heard Where Could I Go But To The Lord on an Elvis Presley gospel album. And of course I love Elvis Presley and I think that when Elvis Presley sang gospel music, the angels smiled. So I wanted to include 
this song where could I go but to the Lord on this project because the gospel music uh, plays such an important role in, in my life and it's, it's my favorite style of music and when I asked my papa to join me on where could I go but to the Lord he agreed and I was so happy because his vocals just made this song that much uh, more more great and it just was so his, his vocals were so smooth at 88 years old he can still sing like a bird and made this track very, very special. Tears of a Friend is a brand new song that actually the guy who sells merchandise for me, Jimmy Vaughn, who lived in Indianapolis, Indiana, wrote this song many years ago. And the lyrics are, uh, I played that old Ralph, Ralph Stanley. But the original lyrics of this song was, I played that old Hank Williams. And I said, Jimmy, how about changing that to Ralph Stanley since you were on a Ralph Stanley show? And so he did, and, and the first night that we did it, uh, the fans loved it, and I promised Jimmy that I would record this song on my next Bluegrass project, and so I did. The people like it. I think it's a wonderful song, and I, I appreciate Jimmy Vaughn letting me uh, record it. A talented songwriter by the name of Alan Mills wrote Love of the Mountains, and the first time that I heard that song, I fell in love with it, because recently I am from the mountains and still live in the mountains of Southwest Virginia, so it was a special song for me about growing up in the hills and where things are so much simpler than everyday living in a city or, or of a, a big, big town. But Love of the Mountains uh, fit this project perfect. Uh, the great Larry Sparks once recorded this song and I wanted to uh, make it a little bit different from his version. So I added my own phrase into it and also uh, some different instrumentation wise. And so I think it turned out really well. I'm very proud of that track. And that's one song that we do uh, pretty much on every show that we, we do around the country now. Casualty of War is one of those tear jerkers. It's uh, one that will bring you, bring you up and then right fast bring you right back down. It's a song about a son who is overseas in war and he called his mama and says, Mama, I'm coming home in a few days and she's so happy. But then just a few days later, she has a knock on her door and there's a couple uh, army guys in uniform with their head, heads bowed low and their hats in hand we're sorry to inform you that he was killed in war today. So it, it's a very sad song and it's, it's, it's a very real song because so many people have experienced that. So many mothers have lost their sons to, to, the, to the battlefield. And so I wanted to record this song in, in honor of all of our uh, armed services and, and the veterans So because I, I appreciate them so much and, and thank them for what they do uh, to make this country the greatest nation of all. We appreciate him so much, and, and so I hope that they like Casualty of War. It's one of my favorites on the album. For all the love I had is gone, I had to dig real deep into the Stanley catalog, and I found this song, and I really just fell in love with it over again because I, I remember hearing it when I was uh, younger, and I was uh, talking to the band members, and I said, how about we bring this song back to life, guys? And, of course, they were all for it, and... Uh, so we just uh, re-recorded it, added a few uh, instrumentation. We added a, a dobro to it, which a dobro has never been used in the Stanley sound at all until this record has come about And because I brought a, a dobro into this. And I, I think it turned out really well. And it was just uh, one of those uh, favorites of mine again that, that I had to include on this project. Stanley Melody is three songs that we combined together to make a track bands would get on stage together at bluegrass festivals or like I said at the Grand Ole Opry or wherever they would put two or three songs together and jam as you could say so I wanted to put um, three of, of my favorite songs together. DJ seemed to like it and the band had a lot of fun recording it because it's pretty fast and uh, it kicked off things pretty well. Golden Years was a challenge for me to record to be honest with you. Uh, Don Rigsby who played Malin on this project and also sang the tenor. He wrote this song. And while I was thinking about the material to include on the Legacy Continues, I just so happened to text Don one day and I said, do you have any songs that you have not recorded yet that you think I could do a good job on? After a couple of days, Don emailed me Golden Years. And it sounded like a song that my papa would have recorded back in the 1970s. And so I said, this will be a challenge, but I am going to do it because it's a great song it speaks of uh, uh, just a couple in love, and of course, bluegrass music and country music, it, it's all 
story of, of love and heartache and heartbreak and all, all the sad stuff and all the happy stuff. So we included uh, Golden Years on this project. It's a brand new song and, and the folks who have heard it so far really like it and I'm, I'm very proud for that. Rambling Letters is another old Stanley Brother number. While I was putting together The Legacy Continues, I dug back into the Stanley catalog as far as I could to pull out some of the uh, songs that have not been recorded in a long time that may have been forgot about, and Rambling Letters was one of them. And so we added a dobro to it, added my own little uh, twist, and it turned out fine, and I was happy to include it on this project. Calling My Children Home has been recorded so many different ways, but I really stopped and I thought to myself, I said, how can I make this different from anybody else's recording? So we added a cigar box guitar, it has three strings on it, and it kind of has that Celtic sound to it. And that was the sound I was looking for, it's so lonesome. And Calling My Children Home tells such a great story. And just from the time it starts until it finishes, it'll, it'll just keep you involved and keep you just hanging on listening to what the next line will be. And so I was very proud of, of calling my children home. It's one of the standout cuts on the on the album, The Legacy Continues. And it also crosses its, its boundary lines a little bit. It, it reaches over into the Celtic zone and, and strays a little bit from bluegrass, but the bluegrass influence is, is really there too. 